Sweeping the room. Before starting sweeping, some preparation should be carried out. Firstly, it is necessary to consider the time and individual circumstances of the sweep. Due to there may be a lot of devices which are remotely controlled, it is recommended to carry out a sweep during normal working hours. In real situations, that is when an eavesdropper most wants to listen. It may be necessary to arrange a fictitious meeting to activate any bugs. Close all drapes in the room. Turn on the lights and activate any other devices to imitate normal conditions. To avoid false detections, turn on off all RF transmitting devices before starting the sweeping procedure. These include Wi-Fi devices, routers, printers, video cameras, laptops, cordless phones, cell phones, Bluetooth devices, etc. Enter the room and turn on your Protect 1207i. Watch the bar graphs, and if they show increased levels, more than four to five segments, turn on the attenuator. The corresponding LED will show the attenuator has been turned on. Choose the desired operation mode. Silent is the default mode which is automatically selected after turning the unit on. The listen mode is more convenient for locating and inspecting the RF source as the operator can learn about the source by hearing a demodulated signal. An experienced operator may actually be able to distinguish between different kinds of transmission. The visual mode gives extra information to the operator by showing a suggested protocol on the display. The recognition is based on analyzing the demodulated signal and is in most cases sufficiently accurate. The vibration mode allows the operator to avoid constantly watching the bar graphs when inspecting areas that are difficult to access and to achieve secrecy during a sweeping procedure. Move around the room with the Protect 1207i while watching its bar graphs or paying attention to the vibrator. When you get close to an RF transmitting device, some of the bar graphs of your Protect 1207i will rise or the vibration will appear depending on mode being used. Probe all objects which may contain a hidden surveillance device. Regardless of the results, apply all other sweeping devices available and carry out a physical search. Visually inspect and probe each object in the highlighted area. Disassemble, if necessary, lamps, desktop items, telephones, AC outlets, and phone outlets. If you find a bugging device, do not stop. You should continue to search more carefully as eavesdroppers often install more than one device. Detection of GPS trackers. Make sure your own mobile phones are off, placing them in the flight mode or power off completely. Position the Protect 1207i in the front section of the vehicle and start moving. If possible, select a route far away from highly populated areas in order to avoid accidental measurements of signals from other people's mobile phones. Watch the GSM, 3G, 4G bar graphs on the Protect 1207i. If you observe increases on the bar graph with a non-changing interval, it might be a sign of the presence of a tracker. If it is unknown what interval can be pre-programmed in the tracker, but it should be the same time during the measurement. For an express variant, 30 minutes of testing might be enough. For a deep-seeking test, we suggest driving for one to two hours while watching the detector. Repeat the procedure with the Protect 1207i placed in the rear of the car as it is unknown in what part of the car the tracker might be hidden.